Hi there, this is Spitfire with Game Mode 5, and today we're going to talk about installing the Aegis Launcher. That's right, the Aegis Gaming Launcher. Now, in order to do this, you will need this website, which I have put in the description down below. Now, you can open this in Firefox, you can open this in the browser of your choice, it doesn't matter. First thing you'll need to do is decide whether you want to use the JAR or the EXE. I will be using the jar. Now simply click. Tell it to save the file. Now once the files are done downloading, you can you could just simply double click this. However, to make it easy to, easier to find, you may want to move this onto your desktop so that you can get back to it later. Once you have this on your desktop or wherever it is you'd like to put it. Simply double click. Now, as you can see, uh, this does come with Hack Slash Mine, Adventure Tech, Mo SMP, and Vanilla. More mod packs may be coming to this launcher very soon. Now, you could simply put in your username and your password, hit log in, it will download and patch everything for you. When it's done, you will see these three windows. And then it will load Adventure Tech. Make sure that you do select the mod pack that you would like to use. Once it's done, hit Multiplayer. As you can see, it comes stock with a server that you can play on. That's something I really like about this mod pack, that it automatically has somewhere for you to go. No need to search, it's there for you. Keep in mind, this is beta software, so it may be a bit buggy. And if you do require more than the stock amount of RAM, when you launch the launcher, simply make sure that you have the mod pack that you'd like to add RAM to. Hit Options. You can change that here. There are some other settings here, but I do not recommend using those until you get familiar with this type of configuration. All right, well, I'm Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Like, subscribe, comments, please.